Hello all, welcome to our website binaryicos.com. My name is Rahul and in this video I am going to discuss about the Microsoft XML Core Services vulnerability on Windows XP Service Pack 3 machine. Okay, so my attacker machine is Backtrack Fire 3 and the victim machine is Windows XP Service Pack 3. Okay guys, so this is another vulnerability on Windows XP Service Pack 3 machine. So here is my Backtrack machine, my attacker machine, you also use a Kali Linux machine and the victim machine is windows xp service pack 3 let me show you the ip address of windows xp machine is 10.1.1.50 and the ip address of backtrack machine is 10.1.1.10 okay so both machine are in lan so open the terminal and type msf console to learn the metasploit framework after that search for msxml dash get so it will search this exploit so i'm going to use this browser exploit msxml underscore get definition code execution so i'm using this exploit for this video demonstration Let's say the payload is Windows Meter Printer Reverse TCP. Oh, it's wrong. It's not a dash. It's underscore. Underscore. Okay, so payload is set. Type show options, and we need to set the ALOS for our payload and SRV host. Okay, it's required. SRV code is 8080, so leave it default. So we need to set the AL host and SRV host. Uh, you can also change the path if you want to change the URI path. So change the URI path. Okay, so first set. SRV host this is our backtrack machine IP address 10.1.1.20 and same for L host okay let's see the exploit targets show targets and my target is number one that is Windows XP service, service pack 3 on the internet explorer 6 okay so if you want to use this vulnerability or use this exploit on windows 7 service pack 1 you need to install a java version 6 or windows 7 service pack 1 and you need to use the internet explorer version 9 so you can also use this exploit on windows 7 service pack 1 machine for this video demonstration i'm going to use a first target because my victim machine is service pack 3 and it uses the IE version 6 so let's set target 1 so all are set now run the exploit started the reverse handler and this is our URI path copy the URL path and go to the victim machine paste and go let's see what happened in backtrack it's sending a stage and the meta beta session one is open and now i think it's migrating the process on the notepad.exe yes now it's migrating So notepad.exe is created and it's migrating on that process id and successfully migrated so you can see right here there is no notepad is running but if you open the task manager you can see the notepad.exe is running on this user account Raul XP. this is my user account Raul XP. okay so let's interact with our session session id is one
sorry sessions okay the metal beta session is run i p config and this is my ip address of windows xp machine system info windows xp so we get a meta beta session of windows xp we successfully hack the windows xp machine okay so this is all for this video subscribe my youtube channel for more hacking videos thanks for watching